Hey BMW fanboys and girls, welcome to the channel. It's been a long time, but I'm back here. Got a really cool video here to show you how to convert this useless fuel economy gauge into something useful for us car people. Oil temperature. Okay, so stay tuned. It's pretty easy. And I'm going to show you what I can do here. So it's showing now 100 degrees C. Watch this. 50 degrees, 75 degrees. For us Canadians, these out work out perfectly. Your zero will be 50 degrees, 75 will be one quarter of the way, 100 will be in the center, and I'm going to show you 125. which matches up perfectly and 150 is not perfect but you will not be running this hot anyways that's 150 degrees C pretty cool stay tuned and subscribe thanks guys okay guys let's get started here we're gonna convert vert your um, miles per gallon liters per hundred kilometer fuel economy into an oil temperature reading the first thing we need to do is some background work here. Um, you need to have a decant cable, okay, connected to your computer. It's called K decan cable, and you not need to have EDABAS installed, okay. I'll go over in the bottom um, description with some links how to do that in another video, but just click on the links, follow the instructions if you already have that installed, which most of you BMW fanboys and girls have this is going to be easy. I'm just going to go over one thing first. You got to make sure in your device manager your COM port is being shown there. USB serial COM1 and one setting we need to make sure is the latency timer is set to 1 and your COM is set to 1. Okay once we confirm that let's get out of here. Okay, just click no. We're going to open INPA. Make sure your key is in ignition and you push the start button without starting the car. So to do that, no foot on the brake. Okay, we're showing battery on, you see, and ignition on. That's what you want. So now let's close INPA. Make sure you close it. Okay, now we're going to run Perfect Toolbox. I'll provide a download link in the description below. So let's open that. So the first thing we want to do is read everything. Okay, so you see all your settings there. What I recommend to do is to save. Okay, you want to save all these settings. So, save that to your desktop. You notice that's combi, that's your gauges. Okay. Now, let's expand Combi. We want to go to Consumption Oil Temp. Now, if I've already changed this, okay? So, what you're seeing here is what you want your outputs to look like. The default is Consumption. You want to change that gauge function to Oil Temperature, okay? Make sure you have 84 here, your damping factor 13. That's just to show you, uh, it's basically to teach the computer not to react so quickly. You don't want it moving all around. So that's just a damping factor, factor into the calculation. These are your settings, okay? So at zero, you're gonna have 50 degrees C. Um, one quarter of the way up, you want 75 degrees C. Halfway up, 100 degrees C. Three quarters, 125, 
and at the full setting you want 150 my car typically runs 100 110 I've never seen it go beyond 120 so make sure you put all these settings in if you have to set them by the way this is a key important point you have to input them from right to left it doesn't let you input them from left to right so go right to left and input them as you see here okay once again I've changed mine already so and then you can save this okay even though we've saved the whole thing you can just save the gauges part I'm gonna save that okay and once you're all done you go you click on write to ECU I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it but what you can do actually to test the settings are in here you can input 50 degrees C actually let's go up because 50 won't show anything so with 75 I could see it go up one quarter of the way and that's all there is guys so just make sure you save your defaults and then save your um, settings as well just in case in the future you don't want to go through this again if something gets wiped out and that's it you're set okay guys thanks for watching be safe keep it between the ditches and please subscri subscribe I don't have enough subscribers I need more spread the word um, this is a great feature I have no idea why BMW uses instantaneous fuel economy it has absolute no use there's already an average miles per gallon average liters per hundred kilometer in your gauge cluster I'm not sure if they defaulted with that I might have programmed them in the past so if you don't have that let me know I can teach you how to program that but in my cluster the digital cluster I have average and instantaneous so I don't need it okay thanks for watching subscribe and be safe thanks guys